the vast, vast, vast majority are in love with hell's system, with hell's version of heaven, as I've put it before. They don't want to change anything about it. They definitely don't want to leave its system. They're in love with everything about it. They're in love with, obviously, the monkey suit that they wear and all of its pleasures that it affords. They love the systems that are set up. They love commerce. They love all of those advantages. They love the government. They love fluoride in the water. They love GMO foods. All kinds of high fructose corn syrup GMO garbage sweets. Just gobbling that garbage up every single day. They love the drive throughs the McDonald's. They love paying their mortgage or rent every single month to the monarchy or the government or the banking system, the banking cartels. They love the whole damn thing about this three-ring circus hell. They see no reason to be free of it whatsoever, not in the slightest. It's not even a passing thought. And many in the so-called truth community are really outing themselves as loving hell's system. They just want a few adjustments maybe here and there to proffer a little bit more comfort and advantage for their own existence in life. Really pay attention. A lot of people, so-called truth seekers, are really outing themselves. They love hell's version of heaven. They just want slight adjustments that they call freedom. Just leave me alone a little bit more, but keep everything else in place. I love the technology that you've developed. I know it destroys the earth completely, but I just love it. I don't want to change a damn thing about that whatsoever. Yeah, as I said, there are very 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 few who truly want to be free and are willing to do everything that it's going to take far fewer than can be imagined there are a lot of lovers of hell's system that's a fact and especially when the systems are online as I've been saying which is still the case currently obviously but what about when they go offline so many put their total faith and trust that everything of this system cyst stem is just going to remain online indefinitely forever and ever generation after generation to come maybe some slight adjustments obviously technology will keep increasing and then that proffers more advantage, more comforts, and so on. Which, of course, even the truth community loves all that, really, is what it comes down to. Not willing to excise any of it from one's existence if it means true freedom. That's obviously what I've been talking about. True freedom of the heart for the heart, for the earth. So that it doesn't have to suffer all of the pains and duress that it's put under every single day for this system. One isn't paying attention if they don't see that. You're not paying attention at all. You're in love with the system then, obviously, or just wanting to remain blind. So the point I'm trying to make here is that all systems are online currently, but the reflection, as I've been mentioning, is that they go offline. They go dark. And when things go dark, it gets dark and ugly. Very dark and ugly eventually. Because that's what a fall is. And a fall isn't something to look forward to. This fall is not something that's going to be nice in the slightest, not whatsoever. 
this should really, really be giving everyone pause if you're paying attention and also listening to the heart because you're actually silent. You're not being consumed by anything right now. That's a distraction. Who out there is in that state of silence? I really wonder. It is very few, no doubt about it. There are so few that are really, truly, and I mean truly, taking it all seriously. Still just wanting so many distractions of whatever kind just to remain occupied. That's what it's all about. Well, I'm, I'm here. I might as well just stay occupied. Yeah, exactly. Keep chasing those goals. So the reflection symbolically in the quarantine that was shown what's to come. The shit hits the fan. I've already shown this symbol previously. Yeah, the toilet paper flying off the shelves. It was a symbol ahead of its time. When the shit hits the fan, there's not going to be enough toilet paper to wipe it all up. Not even close. And look at the panic the missing toilet paper from the shelves caused. It was unreal. Now imagine all systems and resources going offline and being restricted entirely. And I've already presented this. How dark and ugly does it get and how quickly does it get to that state? There's only going to be so many resources for everyone and who's obviously going to be in control of those resources. Obviously it's the governments of the world. And that's why it's the whole get your mark scenario. That's exactly the reason why. But people just think that everything is fine. You can just keep putting pressure on the earth and its systems indefinitely. More and more and more pressure and constant pressure. Just ever escalating and it doesn't matter. It has no effect. This is just some little journey. Just remain positive. That's all that it is. What are you talking about pressure? And of course anyone who says things along these lines is absolutely blind a hundred percent blind or willfully ignorant it's a refusal to see what's going on and the pains and pressures put on the earth put on the heart the amount of pains that are caused yeah to the human populace as well to provide for these services for those who are living higher and more substantial lifestyles just again turn a blind eye to all of those people who are slaves very much to systems to provide these goods and services these plastic pieces of garbage that you buy at these big box stores it's just unreal just accumulating shit for no reason whatsoever because it's exciting to buy the next new thing. Something that's just going to sit on some shelf and collect dust. Just absolute pointless purchases. Just an absolute waste. Just creating more and more landfills as well. Another example, yeah, fast fashion. Anyone has looked into that. Just seeing the entire landfills of clothing that just get thrown out. Thrown into countries in South America just piles upon piles mountains of used clothing just maybe even worn one time well I I wore it once time to throw it in the garbage yeah anyone interested take a look at that and see oh yeah there's no impact whatsoever and that's just that's just the clothing industry with fast fashion I mean the list is extensive in terms of the impact. Extensive. So the point being, as I said, 
the heart is not going to allow these things to continue on for all that much longer. And that's when the systems go offline. The systems go dark and everything changes. Whether you're ready or not, it doesn't matter. This system doesn't give a shit about any one of us. None of us. It cares about itself and its continuance and its survival. That's it. Everyone gets used in different degrees throughout the hierarchy. Every last one of us. There is nothing of this system to believe in or trust whatsoever. So when things get dark and ugly, obviously people also get desperate. They get very desperate, inevitably. So is one prepared for what's to come inside? And as I said, I've reiterated this and I reiterate it again. There's going to be very important and big decisions to make big choices. The choices. For eternity, absolutely. So is one going to pay attention and listen to the three ring circus and the whole shit show and people who love it and what they have to say, believing in the continuity of it forever and ever? Or is one going to finally, finally go within truly and listen to the heart and see and hear what it's saying? I wonder very much who out there is doing that right now, right now in this very moment. It is undoubtedly very few.